Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. This is Haris Jafri, and today we are going to install an Aconda. Now, what is an Aconda? What is Spider? What is, uh, let's say, IDE, Integrated Development Environment? We are going to discuss all of that in in uh, in future videos, maybe. Uh, but for now, I just have to install an Aconda, and this video is all about uh, preparing an environment where we can use and uh, learn how to program using Python programming language. Now, uh, as you can see, I'm using my laptop. If you have been familiar with my functions and how I operate, uh, I'm using my laptop because uh, my desktop already had Anaconda installed on it. So that is why I wanted to install, uh, um, you know, Anaconda on my laptop. So let's proceed forward. Uh, we are going to use this website, www.anaconda.com slash downloads, right? Uh, I'll accept the cookies as a matter all right so I will go to this uh, free downloads on the top right I'll click on free downloads and once I click free download it is going to ask a uh, email address so I'll, I'm gonna provide one and I'm gonna agree I will submit once I click submit and it is going to send a uh, um, link to my uh, to my email ID so let's let's check the link to my email ID all right see it's taking time let's proceed but for, let's check what happened here All right, so it, it was on my junk email. All right, so I'll click download now for in my email ID. Visit link. Yes, I will visit the link. All right, so it will start the download and it will give me the link to download. So I will click the download here. Uh, so it has essentially started the download. Uh, now I will tell you one thing. I already had Anaconda installed on my system. So once this uh, file gets downloaded it will show you in um, I'll close the browser here and uh, this file will be available in your uh, download section so we will go to the download section and uh, where it is yes I I had it once I did it in May I believe all right so I will open it right Click next to continue. Yes, I agree. Just me. Next. Uh, yes, install. Now it's installing. So it was very important that I could have told you, right, that go and download Anaconda. Uh, but I I felt that it was important from my side to show you how, how this is done. Because essentially you are going to operate in, uh, in command prompt. Or anaconda prompt to be to be quite exact all right all right so we are done with the details let's close this for a minute hit next everything you love done as a server required get it started for free all right so we'll click next here uh, launch an Aconda navigator no uh, we are not going to work with the graphical user interface uh, we are going to finish all right so it's going to open a uh, here are the, some useful resources for you it is going to tell you about anaconda distribution tutorials you can view them i highly recommend it let's proceed forward all right so uh why I told you not to install, not not to launch uh, the Anaconda Navigator, is that it is always better that you work on uh, command line interface. All right, so we are going to hit the search bar, and uh, we are going to search for Anaconda prompt. Anaconda prompt. I'll hit enter. Once I am in Anaconda prompt, I will. Uh, I will. I will verify my Anaconda version 
Honda space hyphen hyphen version hit enter all right so this is the version of anaconda which is currently installed on my system now uh, you can view the environment lists by this command conda space env space list conda env list if you hit enter you will realize that only base is the current uh, environment and uh, it is highly recommended that you do not work or uh, you do not work in the original base uh, environment you have to create a new environment uh, because base environment is the one where all the major files are all right so you don't work in uh, in the base environment what you have to do is that you have to create a new environment so in order to create a new environment you can type uh, conda create hyphen hyphen name and then you can uh, name it for example I will name it Harris Jaffrey I'll hit enter and uh, it will start making this environment now environments are uh, essentially uh, areas of working where you can install uh, for example if I don't want uh, uh, for example matplotlib uh, to be available to me in a certain environment but I want matplotlib to be available to me in another environment I can have uh, certain modules of Python in one environment but uh, don't have those certain uh, uh, modules in another environment so this is what uh, what is important and it is highly recommended never to work in the base environment always create a new environment a uh, separate environment and uh, work in that environment only all right so this is why we create uh, these environments so we are in the process of creating it so I will press yes alright so my environment has been created I can verify this by conda env space list and I will see that uh, indeed there are two environments base is the environment I'm currently using and Haris Jafri is the other environment which I made alright so uh, I can activate this environment by conda activate Haris Jaffrey. All right, so we have made this uh, new environment, and I have activated the, the new environment as well. I can deactivate environment by conda deactivate conda deactivate. All right, so um, I will activate. Uh, my newly made environment and uh, if I type conda env list this time the star will be shifted to Haris Jaffrey right so as you can see the star it has been shifted to in front of my name which is essentially a new environment now I have to perform certain tasks and I uh, suggest that you perform those certain tasks with me uh, conda install ipy kernel all right, so now I have to press Y or yes. All right, so I have successfully installed the IPY kernel. Uh, now I will type conda install notebook just to be uh, safe that I have installed everything. All right, so I have ran this command and now I will install Python hyphen m ipy kernel install hyphen hyphen user hyphen hyphen name is equals to Harris Jaffrey all right so we have ran this command as well now I will I will type this command and I hope you are typing this command with me spider kernels hit enter I will press Y for yes alright so uh, everything is done just let me verify alright 
So, I love you 3000.